Happy Liberation Guam! Armed with umbrellas, sunglasses, and determination, island residents from all walks of life stood in front of the gate of the Paseo Stadium office early this morning, waiting patiently to pay for permits to camp out on Marine Corps Drive for the Liberation Parade. Before the Department of Parks and Recreation allowed the line to form after 5 p.m. yesterday, many of the parade enthusiasts were camping around the Paseo since Sunday to be early and uphold family traditions. PNC also spoke to a few of the people that made time to get in line. I was here since yesterday at about 11.30, maybe 11 o'clock. Long time since the night before, that, you know. But, you know, I come and go. My nephews are here, so I go and take a break, come back. Like 13 years? No, the lies! The lies say, say 13 hours. Just say 13 hours now, do it. 13 hours. There you go. Serena Cruz was one of the over 100 people that waited to purchase a $50 permit this morning. While she doesn't recommend for anyone to come the night before and stay in a long line, she was still in good spirits about her experience. I've been here since 10 yesterday. I slept over here and I only slept for two hours. It was a little rainy, but I survived. And now I look like this. Cruz also recommends how she thinks the permit process could be more efficient. It could be more efficient if maybe there was tickets, I don't know, something. Right. Yeah, a little application. application something to pick up somewhere. The Sorensen Media Group was also up early to promote its annual Canopies on Parade contest and how families could went up to $500 in cash and prizes for decorating their canopies for Liberation Day. Meanwhile, the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center Prevention and Training Branch was out getting individuals and groups to sign One Nation alcohol-free pledges. Peace Office spokesperson Sarah Dimla says this is a way to encourage many families to start an alcohol-free lifestyle. We're thankful for all the families who pledged to be alcohol-free. We are looking forward to seeing everyone at the parade. And if there's any other families or community groups who did not get to visit our booth but would still like to pledge to be alcohol-free, there's still more time. You can call us this week at the Peace Office at 477-9079.